Hello everyone, Pallets up here. Welcome back to the Outer Worlds. We are just outside of this compound that's been overrun with marauders. We're here because the information broker is supposedly here. We've got a guide, Nyoka, who's led us here. And uh, she basically said this entire way was dangerous and she was not wrong. She was not wrong at all. If you didn't see the last episode, we got this really dope pistol. It allows us to knock down enemies, which means they're going to be completely crowd controlled for the duration of that knockdown. I like that. Now, how do we want to... Incoming! Whoop. Well, that's not how I wanted to start. I think we could just use these rocks as cover. We could do this really easily from back here, assuming some of our shots are... Hey! I need cover! Thank you. Yo, you gonna burn to death? Yeah, he's gonna burn to death, dude. All right, where was I? Another one down. There were a few more marauders in this place than I thought there was gonna be. But it seems like we're dealing with this just fine. And just like that, Pavati's up on the top floor fucking smashing, dude. I don't even know what she's shooting at. I can't tell. I have no idea what that was. Hold on, I just got shot. I don't think my allies get healing when I heal. I don't think that's a thing. Yo, fucking cleared it out. It was no problem. Where was that lady? Shit, there. Wonder if Hiram's home. Yeah, there was a lady down here losing her mind because there were so many marauders. I wanted to let her know that they're dead. from the gas giant's magnetic field. Stranger, wish we could join you, but I got orders to stay put. Damn, but I like the way you fight. Well, she's impressed, boys. And this is not stealing. I got orders to stay put. All right. Well, the marauders on the outside have been taken care of. In expert fashion, I might add. We're a little low on carry capacity, but we'll just fill up until, uh... Until we're not... God, I wish I could have a mech suit. We'll just fill up until we're not worried about it. Uh, after I cap all of my speaking abilities if that's something i'm able to do my persuasion my lying and my intimidation once i cap that i would really like to dip deep into the science the sciences and uh i would like to learn how to use uh tech weapons really well i think that'd be fun and i think that fits our character basically billy's not good at any of this fighting stuff nice little handicap for us Wait, two po God, we are super duper full. Is most of our inventory just bullshit at this point? Like this stuff? Um, I don't need this for anything, right? It's just junk. Fuck. Wait, can we fast travel back here? We sure fucking can. All right, this is the plan. We're going to break down one piece of armor. We're at capacity. We'll break this one down too. Boom. Now we can fast travel. Let's go sell and then come back. That's not immersion breaking at all. Well, it's nighttime now, but that never hurt anybody. Unless you were in complete darkness and tripped on something and hurt yourself or were mugged in a dark alley at night. Watch out. Turns out we didn't kill everybody. Combat just stopped. I wonder if he was inside. Yeah, dude, fuck him up, dude. Fuck him up. actually just doesn't stand a chance like not even worried about it don't even need to look at him there was some dudes up on the roof though we might be able to get even more supplies up there here we are just loading up on weight again dude i really should get those perks that just increase my carry capacity i decided if i if i am going to do another playthrough of this and we're just going to fucking murder everybody i'm definitely going to make sure i have a strength character so I can carry more of this garbage around with me. Uh, we're also going to need to keep a few select vendors alive. <laughs> Transition to the Devil's Peak Station. I'm not imagining that it's going to be any more hospitable on the inside. In fact, if you take a look at our compass at the top of the screen, that is very true. I not realize this being as you're an outsider, but the blaring alarms indicate the station's on lockdown. Which means you can't ever get to me. So leave already. 
can't. Actually, just that. oblivious, dude. Shoot him through the wall. I am a down oh, there was another you guy in that. here? Actually, just oblivious. The, the, That's the last of them. I kind of wonder if these guys are marauders just because they couldn't cut it in everyday normal society. Uh, I think I'm going to go for a... Excuse me, swap my gun. Well, this seems easy. I could just slow down time and watch her do all the killing. No, I'll do a knockdown. There you go. Happy to help. Wow, really? Just... There's so much to loot. All right, so we're actually looking for an informant in here, an information broker. That's what we're after. I don't know if, ooh, that's, let me give you a hand. <laughs> I don't know if he's being held hostage in here or if this is not enough privacy. First, of all, I guess it's a urinal. No, these are shat. Nope, not enough privacy in here. That just won't do. Hello? Any information brokers? You're out there. Whoever you are, yes, yes, I can see you. Come here and talk to me. Face the intercom. I feel like I'm getting weird, like, little micro stutters. I can't tell if you're brave or simply touched in the head. What in the galaxy are you doing sniffing around my station? Unless you are, in fact, trying to suicide by Marauder? And you, Nioka, what are you doing lugging a stranger into my station? You could use the socialization, you son of a bitch. Also... He hired me. Well, do it. To what purpose? I happen to have some significant problems I am dealing with right now. Marauders, running out of purple berry wine three days ago, not being able to bloody broadcast. So, I need to see the information broker? No, no, no. We'll deal with information related business later. As I said, there are bigger problems threatening my life and livelihood at this very moment. The Marauders want me dead. And since my hired hands have clearly turned idle, it appears I need you to clear out the threat. As my newest contractor, you may call me the broker. Why, so... Or we can call you Hiram, on account of that's your damn name, and doubly on the account of the broker being a dumbass alternative. Agreed. What? Everyone calls me that. Aside from you. Uh, why me? You're here, and you're armed, aren't you? The feed's gone grainy, but it looks like you're packing deadly force. I know Nioka is, for sure. I barricaded the broadcast center, but I can only hold out for so long. Clear the marauders out, and I'll pay you double the going rate. They destroy the transmission equipment, and I'll be out of business. All right, so we have to save and doors to the second floor are back online. Hurry before I have to lock them down again. Uh, how many marauders broke into the station, dude? Too many. Considering I hired a bunch of no good mercs to keep them out in the first place. Already they've caused considerable damage to the station's property. If they take down the broadcast equipment, I'll be out of a job permanently. Yeah, that'll suck. Uh, I'll see what I can do. Can we talk? Yeah. Hey, got a favor to ask you. What? Next time we're out in the open sulfur, I'd like to stop in on an old friend of mine. Preferably before we get to Hiram's. It's on the <laughs> way. Don't worry. Well, you uh, don't seem the type to run off and get yourself killed, and I could use the help. Stop stuttering. Uh, I definitely don't plan on getting myself killed. Well, we'll see about that. I'll be up front with you. I hate asking for help. I hate it. Every time I give someone the opportunity to disappoint me, they seem to make it their most immediate goal. But this, what I'm thinking, it's dangerous. I'll consider it, but we don't have time right now. Well, all right. I admit a certain stain on my spirit, but it's your call. If you find the time, let's talk again. Well, we kind of already went to Hiram's base, so uh, that, that part of the plan was kind of ruined already. I mean, you can't be too mad at me. Ooh. I'm always too short of this hacking shit, dude. I'm always too hey, short. Elevators to your right. Get Ele ready. Elevators... To my right? Isn't this the outside? Oh, shit. No. Okay. Well, ladies, come on in. Hopefully our game stops fucking freezing periodically. That'd be great. That's a nice little elevator. It wasn't doing it outside, so I assume it's something weird rendering in this interior. 
Gentlemen, how are you? I see it now. I think Over you just here. shot a dead man. Did we just see Pravati getting hit in the face? Stop it. Oh, there's many of them. They can deal with that. You, however, stop fucking shooting me. All right, look at that crowd control, dude. Just fucking deal with it. Man, that's good. Everyone all right? There's two more enemies in here, but I'm not seeing them. I'm gonna restart my game because I care about your viewing experience. That still seems like it's doing it. Hopefully we get out of here soon. Well, there can't be too many more Marauders left. Look at the fucking lookout, dude. You can't sneak anything by him. Let's focus this ringleader in the back, ladies. Now about this lookout. Nice work. <laughs> the last of them, I think. Is your broadcast equipment okay? Is everything good, bruh? You feeling all right? Ah, Marauder free at last. I'll get the door. Do hurry on in. Yeah, if you don't mind. Hey, bud. Never thought I'd be ecstatic at having the walls painted in blood, but seeing as it's not mine, I'd say this calls for a celebration. This ought to square our debt. Ooh, One twenty dollars for a highly valued service rendered. But I admit, I do wonder why Nioka has brought you to me. Allow me to pose my question in another manner. Why, in the nebula, are you here? Well, I have a good reason. I'm looking for a certain information broker. Ah, yes. Our little chat on the intercom. You're looking for the premier broker for all of Monarch. Which you knew was me, clearly. Phineas must have sent you. He's the only one insane enough to send someone to Monarch to rush me. I knew it was only a matter of time before he came a-knocking. Look, I might be late, but I fulfill my contracts, always. Oh, you do, do you? I have lost track of the number of beers you owe me for chasing raptodons off your stoop. Are you fibbing? Be honest. I take offense to that. Look, okay. Just, it might take me a while this time. Um, save your excuses for someone who cares, but actually, why is that? I want to know. I am awaiting but a single incoming transmission containing the information we desire. But MSI and the Iconoclasts are clogging the airwaves from Stellar Bay and Amber Heights. In their war against each other, they're scrambling each other's outgoing transmissions. So we kick them off. Exactly what I was thinking. They hurt us all with their pettiness. Which, of course, has inadvertently affected the incoming port and my livelihood. So... Uh, can't, can't we cut them off from inside the station? No, they're jamming the limited frequencies we have at our disposal. Nothing extraplanetary can get in or out until the frequency pollution thins out. The safest bet is to convince Graham and Sanjar to stop transmitting on their end. Um, well, I'll see if I can talk some sense into them. I could just kill them all! Actually, why Amber Heights? Amber Heights is one of the only surviving settlements outside of Stellar Bay. Graham Bryant and the Iconoclast there got their hands on a working relay station. Now they're ceaselessly transmitting philosophist ramblings on my airwaves. I don't think they're going to stop. Where is this broadcast in Cellar Bay? My former partner, Sanjar, transmits from his office in MSI's headquarters in the center of town. Don't let him try to fool you. While his messages might seem like gibberish, they are in reality coded business orders to off-world companies. I understand why he needs the bandwidth, but we had a deal, and he's broadcasting ceaselessly. I'll talk some sense into him. Or I'll fucking, or I'll fucking kill him. Or you could tell me more. Graham and his iconoclast believe anarchy is the way of life. Sanjar opposes it, as he's taking strides to corporatize Stellar Bay. Well, that makes sense. All right, I, uh, I'll see what I can do. You do that, I'll be here, waiting on the receiving end. Luck be with you. 
I have a feeling you'll be needing a pinch of it, plus a vat of patience. I don't have any patience, dude. So, <laughs> wait, what? You're an information broker? What's that? Is that a trick question? Because to answer it, you'd need to pay me. Of course, I could offer you a vastly more interesting bit of data instead. Try me. Ask me anything you'd like. I'll even offer it for free. Ooh. We'll call it an exchange for your help with the broadcast. Ask me what you will. Oh, let's pick. Let's pick carefully. I'm curious about MSI and the Iconocast. What can you tell me about Phineas? Oh. Oh. Not much, admittedly. Well, shit. You must know something. Phineas has been in hiding for the past 35 years. He got in touch with Nioka first, who I use as a physical go-between. The rest is history. As far as what's between us, I mean. Outside of that, well, that's a raptodon of another color. All right, bud. I'm listening. I do know this much. There is a sharper side to the good scientist than you'd expect. If allegations are to be believed, the experiments he conducts for the greater good are in fact treasonous and for self-gain. I am not convinced as to the validity of these allegations, considering the source. But I am also not unconvinced either. Okay. Luckily for you, I am a veritable font of information. Yeah, lucky for me. I thought I could only ask one thing. Yet here I am with a full thing of options. There are so many members. Do specify. Got any compromising information on the chairman? If you try to cite me on this, I will deny, deny, deny. Do you understand? What I am about to reveal is the sort of information that gets a body disappeared. MSI's ownership of Monarch is technically legal, but it would give MSI too much power on the board to grant them such status. My intelligence isn't high enough? So what do you say? That the chairman is politically motivated to keep Monarch from being re-recognized as a legal part of the colony. And his actions, as a result, are highly illegal. Shit. And that is all you will get from me regarding such a deadly piece of data. That's fair. Look. They are a curious lot. Insufferable. And short-sighted, too. What else do you wish to know? I asked him about MSI and the, the other guys. You have any dirt on Sanjar? Sanjar is not actually at fault for his past performance reviews. But he can keep hunting for loopholes to get back on the board for the next century. He'll never be reinstated. Not in his lifetime. For Nebula's sake, even with the loophole I gave him, he's only in charge of MSI because every other exec died during the massacre at Amber Heights. What do you mean? I gave Sanjar and Graham legal information that would allow MSI to own Terra One once the other corporations had abandoned the planet. The execs had their concerns, but before the matter could be resolved, pirates raided their homes in the night. Pirates, huh? I'm curious about Graham Bryan's deep, dark secrets. This seems like su such an invasion. Some say Graham suffers from nightmares that leave him sweat-drenched and screaming. I would assume it stems from the friends and family he lost in Amber Heights all those years ago. What story between MSI and the icono Iconoclasts? You mean between MSI, the Iconoclasts, and myself? Iconoclasts. I bet neither of those megalomaniacs told you I was the true mastermind behind Monarch. Back when the colony was still Terra One and corporations were abandoning us left and right, I'm the one who approached Sanjar and Graham with the means to our salvation. I offered them a legal way to take control of the planet. If MSI were the only corporation here, they could claim sole ownership. So MSI would have to stay behind while the other corporations left? Precisely. The other corporations were fleeing because of the hazard clause declaring Terra One uninhabitable. But MSI had lagged behind, giving Sanjar and Graham an opportunity. Take over MSI, stay here while the other corps left, take over the planet. So you're the glue that brought them all together. Precisely. Without me, they never would have done more than play revolution in hushed whispers over scuzzy kale ales in the tavern. Thus, the bargain was struck. They could run MSI while I would operate Devil's Peak Station. Unfortunately, relations have soured over time. 
So why did the partnership fall apart? Competing ideologies. Graham believes Sanjar has become corrupted by the corporate lifestyle, that he is now similar to the original corporate executives they sought to reform. And Sanjar has learned the hard way that Graham is quite morally gray. Okay. Luckily for you. I... Actually, I was going to say I'm done, but have you received any broadcasts from Earth? What? No. Why would I go out of my way to intercept messages from Earth? There's no market for them. No buyer means it's not worth my time. Now, if you wanted me to intercept a certain one, that might be worth it for the right price. I don't think I have any in mind. How low? Okay, uh, I'm going to head out, but... Okay. Uh! So we have to stop them from broadcasting because they're clogging up the signal and we need the signal for our own purposes. I'm starting to think we're a little selfish. Just a tad selfish. Did you have a sweetheart in Stellar Bay? I had a fling or two, sure. Santa! Our... Well, I see you've had a sobering effect on our friend Nyoka. Momentarily, probably. Sir, please stop. Forgive me, Celia. I couldn't help myself. Anyway, what can I do for you? You're broadcasting, and I need you to stop. You're jamming the Devil's Peak Station. You think we're the problem? Have you even heard the nonsense Graham is spewing? It isn't easy keeping a town like Stellar Bay afloat, especially without the board's backing. We need that frequency to reach our trading partners. Um, there must be another way that you could do business. You know, I do agree with them. And they are supporting a lot of people. And there's a blockade outside. I mean... I also don't really like that the corporations are kind of ruling everything, but it doesn't seem as bad here as it did on the previous planet. You know what I mean? It just kind of seems like everyone's hanging out doing their own job. Okay, I'll go deal with Graham. Fuck. My, you know how to take... It's warm yeah, in here. Is anyone... What he means to say is that we won't need that frequency once we're able to get MSI restored to the board. And the first step is getting the Bolt 52. Oh, God. So, I didn't want to do that. I didn't want to restore these guys to the board because I don't like the corporations. But if they don't need the frequency, then that means that the anarchists can keep spouting their nonsense and keep attracting people that are, are viewed, you know, like this guy, like Tucker here. The blockade might break. You know what? It's probably the best thing for everybody. I hate to admit that. I really do. <sighs> Journal. Bolt with his name. He just needs the Bolt cartridge. Where's that at, bud? Wait, that's in town? What? It's not in town, but it's just outside the northern ruins. Good We've never been here. Bay. We've been to the southern ones. Only place on the planet that don't stink of sulfur. On account of it stinking like fish instead. I hear enemies. I'm not seeing them yet. Oh, Some spitters. Ah, someone just blew up a fucking barrel, dude. Fucking spitters, man. Let me let me inhale my good stuff. Yo, take him down. To shreds, you say? Thank you. Was that so hard? I think my leg's crippled. I can't move. Permanent concussion. God damn it. Having been hit in the head one too many times, your mental faculties have been permanently affected. I'm going to give that one a good old rejection. Considering how my brain is the only thing that I have. You got it, Captain. Yo, good smash. Proud of you. Uh, let's see if I can get some knockouts here. That was a cripple, I think. Cripple. No, they're both knockouts. This might be the most humane way to put these guys down. Honestly. Ah! Hit them with a knockout when they're coming up. Can they even feel it? I don't know. It's dead. We're doing them a favor, honestly. Oh my god, this spitter in the back, though. Take care of this! Here I go. 
thank you. Was that so hard? Why didn't we do that right at the start? Then not all of us would be standing in fucking acid right now. By yeah, my health bar, you could see uh, two shoot you, other you. health things Uh-oh. affecting us because we applied them to the inhaler. Incoming. Okay, knockout. Uh, wait for Brit. Knockout. A little longer than I wanted to spin, but that's okay. Knockout, or was that a blind? Oh fuck, there's actually a lot of these things for body! Dude, there's a ton! I am a storm! That ability reset doesn't seem to happen very often. Oh fuck, where is he? I'll settle for a blind on this one. I just barely dodged that acid there too. I said I dodged it, I'm in acid right now. I can't even see what we're shooting at! Okay. Alright, everything's fine. Everything's fine. Now, I can't get into this building. The door is closed. But it looks like I might be able to shimmy my way up to the... Oh yeah, there's a ramp. And another ramp. And a ladder! Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. We cracked the code, dude. Just hear screaming off in the distance. Um, and then down here. And then inside. Yeah, there's a door missing. All right, don't mind if I do. I'll just help myself. It's not stealing if no one's home. My definition for what is and what isn't stealing, I think, changes every episode. <laughs> nah, this is abandoned. This is fucking abandoned. This is fine. So, uh, it just says that it's here. View executive reviews. Loading last document. Sanjar has a bad habit of padding his reports with numbers and statistics. Not very good with slogans, jingles, and or, ta and or taglines. Presentations tend to be dry and lacking in emotional appeal and funny references. Sanjar has also displayed a noted tendency to complete work rather than delegating it, a trend unbecoming of upper management. All in all, Sanjar's work habits suggest a preoccupation with details and a startling lack of vision. We cannot recommend him for further advancement. Needs improvement in the following areas. Interpersonal communications. Brevity. Delegation and idea generation. I don't know what brevity means. Oh. Hello. Hello? I hear boots out there. Wait, can rats for boots? This was a door outside. <laughs> Snarl like a raptor. <laughs> uh, get away! <laughs> no, I'm just messing with you. Who's in there? Oh, thank the Eternal. I'm Huxley. Ah, hucks if you're lazy. I'm stuck. My friends and I were scavenging here, and a Mad Queen showed up, then rapted on. It was a void blasted mess. I ran in here, and um, now the door's locked. Little help? Oh shit! I just saw our bonus thing there. The reason he wanted me to wipe the terminal is because he's not. His review came back negative, and he doesn't want the negative to be seen. Um, so, uh, how'd you get locked in there? It's easier than it sounds, all right? Next time you get chased by raptodons, you let me know the rationality of your decisions. Ooh, well, I need to get in that room, so... Phew, thanks, mister. My buddy had a key, but I ain't heard him in a while. He locked me in here and took off. Probably got munched. So look for a dead guy, I guess. Or a rapt. Maybe... It's in a rat belly. Gross. Gross. Uh, seeing as you're champ, you might as well answer a few things for me. Nah. Okay, so... Oh. I guess it's in that thing's belly. Well, we know where to get it. I see it now! Covering you! No! 
The ARMS building key. All right, that was nice and easy, dude. Clean and cut and dry. I got the key. Hello again. The door is still locked, so look for a. D okay. I think I found it. Oh, much obliged. So I just need to use it on the door. Ah, oh, you. Thank you so much. It was getting all stuffy in there, and I was getting a mite lightheaded, and I think maybe I was gonna die. I'm glad you now didn't die. I'm out here, and I'm headed back to Amber Heights. You're an anarchist. Still landing yourself in trouble, eh, Hux? Oh, hi, Nyoka. Um, you mind giving me an escort back home? I'm... Oh, you're traveling with someone. Never mind. Uh, are you sure you're okay to travel? Because... Oh, sure, I'm a runner. I'm used to getting all dizzy, and... <laughs> hey, who's your identical, slightly blurry friend? Uh, normally when you help someone, they give you something for the trouble. All of these are leaving the conversation. I guess we'll do that. What? I ain't got nothing on me. How's about a heaping helping of appreciation and respect? Uh... I can't buy ammo with appreciation and respect. Give me something or I'm stuffing you back in there. I'm being... By b being saved by me, you entered into a non-negotiable contract. Um, whatever, dude. Just put in a good word with me. Get out of here, lady. Can do. All right. Well, take care. Thanks a lot, mister. You stay safe out there. Do we want to wipe the terminal for that guy? I feel like reviews aren't a, aren't a bad thing. You know, you can learn from your mistakes. My mouse was not usable there for a moment. That's that's fun. It's fun and engaging. Speaking of buying ammo, there seems to be plenty of it in here. So I think I think we're good to go, dude. We don't need anything from that lady. Also, like, there had to be a way to open this from the inside, right? There had to be. Can't move because we're over encumbered again already. The flamethrower. Do we want to give that to Pravati? Is that a damage increase? It is, but it's a shorter range, right? So she wouldn't be able to use that up close. Yeah, fuck it. Let's see how that goes. She's mostly using her melee weapon anyway. And then I can just break this thing down. We have a chance of getting a mod and we're one pound under our weight limit, which means we're back in town. What was it like in Edgewater? I hear you workers. All right, but I got your bolt moment. thing for you. You should know you're getting excellent reviews from across the company. Well, that's great. What can I do for you? Uh, I found the. <laughs> I found your review. You weren't supposed to look. I asked you to delete it. No, dude. It was already open. I couldn't help it. Oh, yes. No doubt someone else was having a laugh at my expense before you. This has been my albatross. The great shame of my career. Yeah. I give MSI everything. My work, my youth, my left kidney, and for years, I was a joke to them. What about your left kid? You only have one kidney? Uh, one of the executives required a transplant. I thought volunteering to donate might improve my prospects. <laughs> Did it? Apparently not. <laughs> Who cares what they think, dude? You're in charge now. In charge of a scrap heap of a city. Abandoned by the board and surviving only through the hypocrisy of our trading partners. And you've made it work. And that's more than anyone can say about those executives because they died in a pirate raid that I'm sure you had nothing to do with. I hadn't thought of it that way. <laughs> perhaps there's something to that. Thank you for that. Was there something else? Uh, yeah, I got the bolt. I found the thing. Oh, yes. I'm going to be up all night with this. All those blanks waiting to be filled, boxes waiting to be ticked. Try to control yourself, sir. Have you any idea how powerful this is? Corporations have been toppled with less. So, how exactly is this data cartridge gonna help? What a question! 
Bureaucratic micromanagement is the only way anything gets done in Halcyon, and proper documentation is a key part of that. For our part, a bill of liquidation slash transfer form 52 will protect our holdings on Monarch by temporarily assigning them to a pass-through entity once we drop our bomb on the board. Wait, what, 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 what? For our part, a billing of liquidation transfer form 52 will protect our holdings on Monarch by temporarily assigning them to a pass-through entity once we drop our bomb on the board. So you do want to go again. What comes next, dude? <laughs> Corporate espionage. Oh. How was that, Celia? Did I sell it? Your best delivery yet, sir. He's he's improving. You killed it, Sanjar. Celia? Already noted for your review, sir. So, uh, what about this plan? I have reason to believe that one of the other corporations is operating on Monarch. Illegally and in secret. Yeah. Is it really illegal if the board's the one that makes the rules in the first place? If we can find proof, I can use that as leverage to... Encourage certain powers that be to accept our Bolt 52 and reinstate us on the board. <laughs> Sanja, you sly dog. Do you really think so? I admit I've been hatching this scheme for quite some time. I just needed someone capable to help me carry it out. If someone is operating here, then Catherine's almost certainly supplying them out of Fallbrook. Perhaps she could be convinced to tell you where they are. All right. Sounds like you know her pretty good, though. That's part of the problem. She has certain ambitions for Stellar Bay, and I fear my asking her would give her the leverage she's been looking for. I see. Don't get yourself worked up, sir. It's perfectly natural to have a healthy fear of her. Oh, she's not fun scary like you. Just <laughs> scary, scary. But that's why you'll be equipped to handle her. I'm so glad. I'm so glad to know that I'm fun scary. All right, so go to Fallbook, get the location of the illegal corporate facility, then what, dude? Once you, uh, subtly work out where this corporate facility might be, bring back proof of its operation. Maybe some nice letterhead. Or someone working there. That would do it. Infiltrate the secret corporation base and kidnap their staff. Sure. That sounds easy. A foolproof plan if I ever heard one. I'll leave the execution to you. All right, dude. Uh, I'm getting out of here. Uh, fucking don't. What do you think of the don't like the carbon? corporations, and here I There's am working for the corporations. How far away is this area that we have to go to? Hey, this was the halfway point on the way in. We can just go there. That's easy. All right. So, so how do I do this without just kidnapping someone? Now, if I drill through the hole, we'll suffocate. Exciting, you, know, you know, avoiding kidnapping was never a problem I thought I was going to have. 